Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this video will be about unit stats in general. In my unit guides I've mentioned the stats of the units and whether they are good or not, but I haven't really explained what the stats exactly mean or how they should be interpreted. This video should rectify that. So, let's begin. When two units start fighting, models will try to attack each other. To determine which model will be the attacker, an initiative roll is made. When the attacker is decided, the attacking model makes an attack roll, where the melee attack increases the chance of hitting, and the melee defense decreases the chance of getting hit. Armor gives a separate chance to block the hit after the attacker got past the defense. If the attacker hits and gets past the armor check, the defending model is killed. In the case of a charge, the unit with charges get the charge bonus stat added to their melee attack, and seemingly also get a bonus to their initiative roll, as well as defending unit having no melee defense against the charge, but the armor is unaffected. These buffs and debuffs fade quickly over a couple of seconds after the the units make contact. This means that highly armored units are better at defending against a charge than lightly armored units. Also, higher armor seems to increase the mass of a unit, meaning the unit holds its formation better against a cavalry charge. On turn and cavalry, an anti-cavalry bonus increases the chance of hitting a cavalry unit like melee attack would. Furthermore, there seems to be a hidden bonus that cavalry units get against non-spear wielding infantry, which would be the reason why katana cavalry can easily take out a unit of katana samurai. Missile units mainly care about accuracy and reload skill. The reload skill simply increases the rate of fire of the unit. Accuracy determines how accurate the shot is based on the moment of release. If the target unit moves in a different direction after a has been fired, it can still miss. Every missile trajectory is calculated independently to see if they hit the target or not. Every has a bigger model size and a smaller unit size and are therefore inherently more vulnerable to missile fire. The only defense against missile fire is armor, and the chance of preventing a hit with armor is much higher compared to the chance in melee. Ammunition isn't really an issue in any field battles, but it might matter a little during offensive sieges. A Reddit user has found out, link in the post below, that apparently higher tier units use different arrow types, which means that bow warrior monks would still outperform bow samurai if the stats were the same. It seems that the arrow type have a type of armor penetration which reduces the defense armor gives against missile attacks. Matchlock bullets ignore armor completely. For all unit types, morale is the actual health of the unit. While losing men reduces a unit's fighting strength, morale determines when a unit will actually stop fighting and start routing. Morale can be lost by both losing troops and other modifiers, such as getting charged in the rear. This means that morale is one of the most important stats as it determines how long a unit will keep fighting. Last but not least, running and fighting increases a unit's fatigue. While fatigue doesn't seem to affect combat stats, it has a big impact on morale. I'm going to end this video by showing all the units on charge so you can get an ID when a stat is considered low or high for that stat. Feel free to screenshot them and use them as reference material. Thank you for watching.